Good morning, Southern West Virginia. I'm Stormwatch Meteorologist Matt Bullock for your morning's commute. On Friday, it's pretty warm this morning, 64 degrees in Lewisburg and Raynell, 63 in Beckley, what, 61 degrees in Athens. If we take a look at our Doppler radar, we are staying dry with partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies, but if we look off to our west, we are seeing some isolated showers just east of Huntington and west of Charleston. So if we look at our future cast of what this morning is going to look like, Warm temperatures in the morning, but again, we could see some isolated scattered showers in the morning as we get to around lunchtime. We'll continue to say moderately dry. There might be a chances for small little isolated showers. As we get in the afternoon, though, that's when we'll see the best chances for isolated showers and thunderstorms. They may be strong at times as we get through tomorrow, especially tomorrow morning. We could see some more storms as well. But here's what's going on. We have a low pressure system off to our north associated with the cold fronts. It's off to our west, but it's going to make its way towards the east. So those scattered showers and thunderstorms are a result of this cold front. I'll talk about the severity in just a second, but as we get to Saturday, a second low pressure system starts to form. It won't move too fast as this high pressure system is kind of blocking it from moving any fast. But the storm system eventually moves through as we get through Saturday. Most of our rain is going to come from this warm front. As we get to Sunday, though, this low pressure system moves to the east. It's going to dump lots of rainfall possibly for flash flooding as well. We're gonna see lots of rain this week. And here's what the severe weather outlook looks like for today. Really nothing too much to worry about. The severe threat actually dropped down from yesterday. We really don't have any chances, but as we get to tomorrow, no severe chances. But as we get to Sunday, however, we do have a marginal chance and the main threat is flooding for Sunday. But here's what the storm impacts we could see for today. Depending on some of the isolated strong storms we could see, the main threat is damaging winds and flash flooding and maybe a little bit of hail here or there. But the rainfall, we're going to see a lot of rain, close to two inches of rain till Monday. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot of rain. So we will see some flash flooding. That is possible. Let's just focus on today. If you want to take your dog on a walk today, you could risk it. You could risk it for the biscuit because we will see isolated showers and thunderstorms all day. Temperatures warming up into the mid 70s. Today's pups are Demi and Minor, and their facial expression is the same ex facial expression that my dog's gonna give me when I come back telling her it's not looking good to take your dog on a walk today. But tonight's forecast, we're gonna see temperatures in the, in the 50s, mostly cloudy skies. There might be a chance for isolated showers with northwest winds at five to 10 miles an hour. That means temperatures gonna be a little cooler tomorrow compared to today and yesterday. We take a look at your extended forecast. Check this out as we get through the weekend. Temperatures drop in the 60s for Saturday. Expect your scattered showers. So if you are going to the Rhododendron Festival, you might want to get an umbrella because we will see some showers. For Mother's Day, we'll see showers and storms as well. Then we dry up for next week.